just dominant the last month a resurgent season for minnesota ohio state will try to salvage a game one of the best power bats in the country yeah not only then hartog leads this team but it's also a pretty third base over the last couple of weeks sam hackenbrack is back catching and allison cleaning up those home runs allowed like we talked about is the next step and we are underway from columbus there's a first pitch strike to kick up in the lineup because she's been doing so well this year. Yeah, at the lot. Th and this is on the ground right side. Play at second base for Caitlin Farley, and there's one part of a pretty new Minnesota lineup this year. It'll on hitting streaks today. That is just outside, and our first base runner this afternoon. Throw any pitch in the book. Yeah, and you honestly learn a lot of pitches at a young age. 2-2. Two, two. There it was in strike three. First strikeout for Allison Smith. Home run hitter. How does that change your approach? I think you got to still attack it. It's early. And that clips in Hartog in the knee. Bent back just a little bit. That makes it first and second with two. Runners going on the pitch, and it's ball four. That loads the bases in the second walk today. Outs. Big pitch. Swing and a miss. No hits allowed, but a couple of walks and a hit by pitch. Exploded this season. A pretty good year last year, but these numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, yeah let's talk about a changeup. I mean, out of Autumn Peace, it is one of the best changeups for Ohio State. Face. One two to Rodriguez is lined right back up the middle, but caught. Dan Hartog coming in. And she's so confident in that pitch. Wilkerson's been. One two is popped up. Into right. And Breezy Burnett makes the catch for the second out. The Tivoli new team, they lost a ton of starters. And Piper Ritter mentioned two outs. Last year, including quarter cracks. This is on the ground to third base, and Kayla Chavez makes the play. One, two, three for Autumn P. Strong, and it's been honestly led by a lot of great seniors. And it makes everything all right. Yeah, it makes everything feel that much better. Well, Allison Smith is starting to feel a little bit better after her third strikeout. It's a two-way player, recently stepped in at first base. This is in the air. Out to right field, foul territory. And a nice catch by Melina Wilkerson. Well, Smith has worked through those if there were any. And is settled. And takes a walk. Third walk for Smith. The hits, it's just really timely hits that has really hurt Ohio State this series. This is lined out to right field, but right at Wilkerson, who makes a leaping catch. A couple of catches. Don't leave it too fat across the plate, or she'll definitely take it over that fence. Ooh, strike three. A generous corner there. Laura Head. Almost on the chalk. And that's picked up on the fly by Stralo. If she knows she could get that call. Yeah, she can expand the plate a little bit more and kind of miss the... And the pitch from Pease is in the air, out to left field, and a diving catch! Sunglass! No hits for Minnesota to this point, but they've drawn three walks. And Natalie Denhart... Break open this game here. And there's a base knock. This will go all the way to the wall for Bradley. Excellent speed, some trouble in center field. Bradley will stay at... What I like so far from these Minnesota hitters, is there a... In the air, right center field, back to the track, to the wall, it is gone! Jess Oakland's 12th blast of the season, and the power persists for Minnesota. As a freshman against Ohio State on a Sunday. She was waiting for it before she held that arm up. You got to play your best come May. 
And when we talked to Piper Ritter earlier this week, and she's going to law school after having an amazing career at University of Minnesota. Strikes out there after getting hit by a pitch in the first. This is blasted out to right field and off the wall on the fly. Kraft's going to decide to go for second and on a hop. Quarter Craig Smith second time through. Matty Elke in the air, left center field. This is down. Kraft coming in to score the third run for Minnesota. To take advantage of this with some of these strong doubles that they're getting. Kraft waited just to make sure. Every hit she gets is a double. This is in the air again. Could it be another one? Diving tries no good. Now Elke will come in. And they are just taking Minnesota. advantage of these pitches, and they're back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back doubles. And someone needs to call time, kind of settle things down, because Minnesota... We just spoke with Smith there. Said that, depending on which pitcher... A foul out to right, last inning. Wave and a miss. Big strikeout. Those strikeouts can help her get out of jams. And Burnett swinging at the first pitch. Pops it up. Into foul territory. And Farley makes the catch over from second. And they were able to just capitalize on some pitches that Smith was missing there. Great arm in the circle. It really helps a pitcher, and it makes you feel a lot more comfortable going out there with the lead. That's a foul out to Burnett. Can get... You can hear this one, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're fun. I mean, you don't see... And the creativity never ceases to amaze. Popped up to shallow left center. And then Hartog in from center. A quick second out. She really needs to continue to do. Let her defense work and throw less pitches so that she's able to go deeper into this. Efficient, like you were talking about. And that's a big reason why the ERA is a lot of attention to my pitchers. Strike three. Pease gets it done. Second backwards K and she Kennedy K. Yeah, a little bit of a different look with a strong drop ball. I mean, she starts off right out of the gates with a nice little changeup, and that's something that we didn't see from. Chavez on the ground to shortstop. Quarter crack picks up a tough hop and makes the play nicely. Gophers right now projected as a two seed in the Stanford Regional in the latest deep. One, two is a line drive just over quarter cracks at short. Two hits in a row for Bradley. Oakland out of St. Francis High School in the San Jose area. This is on the ground to first base and double play. Quarter crack so in. So it was the second time through from Minnesota that they made some noise. Let's see if Ohio State. Slow roller to shortstop. And Oakland guns it over for out number one. First inning. And the toughest bat. This is hit hard and a play at third base. It is foul. Off speed, Wilkerson pops it up. Back from second base. That is straight. There's off balance. So she's throwing different speeds continuously with that balls and pop flies. That's out, and there's the first base runner of the game for Ohio State. Breaking up the perfect game. This is into left field, and there's the first hit for the Buckeyes. <laughs> Maggie Adi swings at the first pitch. Soft to shortstop. Oakland. Adi safe. I think they're just taking advantage of some missed pitches from Autumn Peace. It looks like. Little tapper in the infield, shortstop, and that hits the runner. It hits Hackenbrack for the. Kay's just trying to keep this game manageable. Inter respects. Ground ball to shortstop, picked up by quarter cracks. And there's one away. Came in to score on Elkie's RBI double. Uh, and it, it really just, they turned.
turned it on at the right time. And honestly, they started the Big Ten kind of shaky, and they, right now they're turning it on when it when it means the most. Elke not a transfer or a freshman, but she stepped up. Soft grounder, second base, Farley to a knee, pops up and makes the throw. One shut down the Buckeyes over games one, two, and to this point in game three. What a pitch. That just dropped off the table. There is that change. Mackenzie Bump trying to lay down the bunt up with one out. Pitch. Um, but she takes a few mile an hour off and it's good. Easy pop up to first base and Schwartz makes the catch. Eight. Senior on senior day, getting a chance to bat. Just love seeing that emotion out of her before the game. And there's strike three. Autumn Pease has been a buzzsaw again today in the circle. Yeah, she's just rolling, and she's rolling those ground balls as well with that. 3-0 pitch. It's low again, and a leadoff walk for Stralo. Minnesota. Addison Leshbert. Share of it with a win today. Strike three. There is that outside corner. Nani Valencia. Ability to step up and kind of fill that hole. That is a ground ball up the middle, and it's through. So in the pinch hit appearance for... Chavez swinging at the first pitch and skies it out to right field for Wilkerson. And a tag and advancement to third base. And she's able to take that deep fly ball and take advantage and really honestly not even have a play at her base. And a lot of people are like, okay, we have to scout the pitchers, we have to scout the hitters, but you got to scout the defense too. Part of the, court, the plate a little bit more and go in on our hands a little harder. That is through to right field. Stralo comes in to score, throw to third it's base. A pitch that's a little bit too much on the plate and not enough on the inner half, but she's able to make it. And then this throw is pretty close, but again, with pitcher, you're kind of like, oh crap, she's gonna take my head off if I leave it too much down. <laughs> this is a ground ball to quarter cracks and makes the throw across. One more for Minnesota. Ohio <laughs> State needs Mariah Rodriguez at the top. This is the third time through. She goes upstairs for the strikeout. Doesn't need the changeup that time. Yeah, who needs a changeup? When but this has been a trend the last eight outings now, including this one. Over to go now nearly nearly 43 innings and give up just one run. I mean, you know this during a weekend and she threw she threw seven on Friday and she's most likely going to throw seven today and it really helps her. She's well on her way. Another one. Two. And then Hartog through the left side. We're in the Big Ten. I mean, they're kind of teetering that line and and they're able to do that. Minnesota Northwestern seems to be the picks to click recently. That lands despite the diving attempt from Adi in center. Didn't RBI double in the third for Minnesota. Elke hammers this ball down the line and off the wall. Den Hartzog races in. Now a pickle and Elke is tagged out. A great hit for her team and I mean, they made a great defensive play as well by getting at least one out on this play. Third, Den Hartog had to wait to see if it would be caught. Not to mention that right now, that's Mariah Rodriguez being carried off by her teammates. And Rodriguez making the tag on. So something that Emily Ruck struggled with in her last appearance yesterday is she had five walks. In the left center field, this will drive home Connell. Stralo does it again. Continuing her. Especially single elimination, Big Ten tournament. Who knows? Fly out to center. Stray low. Back to second. They're, they've always just been such a, they're both tough teams. And they're, they've usually. His Two out, Stray low on second. And Burnett barely got a piece. Series. And it's just somebody that has really been a great leader up at the plate for this Ohio State. Hackenbrack got that one. 
and she laces it to the wall. This is the first extra base hit for Ohio State. No outs for Ohio State, trying to put something together for the first time today. That's inside, and it hits Adi. Birdie in her second season with Ohio State. She'll be honored after. This will stay in play. Picked up late toss and out. Stralo roaming over late. And that could be a series that decides who gets the four seat in the Big Ten tournament, the way it's shaped. It's popped up, though. Indian field. And Stralo's there. Minnesota one out away from a sweep. Adi on base. Bump over two. Swing and a miss. Autumn P spectacular in Minnesota. An amazing performance in the circle, but again, they're at bats and able to come up. Jack Kaiser, a softball double hitter, rolls on on BTN. Northwestern Nebraska next. Let's go to Lisa Byington and Sammy Net.